This was a real world paper. It was really looking at what we do in our clinical practice as opposed to our sort of clinical trial setting. So um, hydroxycarbamide is a, as an agent, is a drug that's been used in sickle cell disease for a few decades now and it's thought to be really good um, and really helps improve um, all the kind of adverse effects of sickle cell disease. In fact, there is some evidence to show that it can also prolong life. Um, there is not really a great deal of consensus among clinicians as to how this drug is given at what dose and what frequency and so on. Traditionally, all the trials done in America were done um, with very high dosing. So what's known as the maximum tolerated dose. So they have really given quite a lot of dose and dose quite a lot of um, medicine, if you like, um, and uh, push the patient into a sort of semi-toxic level where, you know, if you push it a bit, a bit further, it gets toxic and you have to stop the treatment. Um, there is another school of thought which says, well, limit it to a maximum um, rather than doing a maximum tolerated dose, do a minimum effective dose. So it was just really to see what our practice was. We have a very, in, I work at King's College Hospital in South London, there is a very big pediatric sickle cell service where we are, we do um, advise that children are put on hydroxycarbamide. So we just wanted to look at a minimum effective dose strategy, which is effectively what we do at King's, and to look at sort of the outcome of the patients um, on the minimum effective dose strategy and see how it bears up against a maximum tolerated dose strategy. Although it wasn't a head-to-head -head, um, uh, study, it wasn't comparing the two different d dose groups, we simply co uh, compared what our children did, uh, looking at outcome metrics such as how frequently they come to hospital in a year, what the kind of, um, what are the kind of blood test uh, results they're getting in terms of their severity of anemia, severity of hemolysis and so on, and comparing it with historical controls or published controls, uh, meaning people who have had hydroxycarbamide with a maximum tolerated dose. And we found that our children uh, on a minimum effective dose are actually doing quite well if we are to use the metrics such as hospital admissions and adverse effects. So the message really was that actually, in fact, you know, it's not such a bad thing to give a minimum effective dose. But of course, are the metrics right? We don't know. We may never know.